this is Hannah from Receptive. Um, we've been working on some really cool things recently, so I wanted to um, to share those with you. Um, the thing I'm really excited about is our CEO dashboard. Um, I think SaaS products should really start to show the return on investment. Um, and I thought, do you know what? Let's let's build it into the product. It's it's so important, um, and and that's kind of how how the project came about. So now within Receptive, you understand the impact that product feedback is having on your organization and you can see exactly how receptive is closing the communication loop with your customers and your teams um, and you know keeping everyone working on, on the right things um, so you can go away find some information there's a, there's a link below that that uh, goes out to this page um, yeah we'll take we'll take a quick look at it so if you go into view metrics if you're a receptive customer um, there's all sorts of really cool things in here. Um, there's engagement trends, so how customers are prioritizing their requests, how often they're viewing the status of requests as well. And then there's all the little automation points in there. Um, for example, if you've got thousands of customers and you want to tell them about an update, you can just send an email to everyone who followed that request and cared about it with two clicks, making life much easier. Um, so yeah, really excited about about this one. The other thing we've done as well is in the report, um, there's a new predefined report called Customer Impact. Um, so a couple of reasons to use this. I think the first use case is you just want to see what value, like financial value in terms of uh, dollars, is assigned to a piece of feedback. So in this test account here, you can see that this feedback request here has the highest account value. Um, the smart list falls in prioritization as well and number of votes. So you can see it's highly prioritized in your customer base and it's got high value associated with it as well. Um, the other use case for this report is uh, prospects. It's, it's one we use an awful lot and it can help show um, like if we're missing out on big deals, is there a feature blocking that? It's just something to consider and a data point that we can bring into the conversation. Um, so if we go to advanced account filters, switch this over to uh, prospects, um, you can then see that this piece of feedback here is actually being built and it has the highest uh, account value, um, which, yeah, like I say, really helps us decide what we should be working on what we're building next and where those blockers are in the process. Um, yeah, if you want to learn a bit more, um, I'll pop a link to the product updates in um, and to our newsletter as well because we've got some really good content. See you later. Bye.